So we've been asked loads to do um, some videos on how to make our flowers using the vellum and our embossing powders. So we thought we'd get down to it and show you. So to start with, we're using our trio of flowers and we're just gonna ink them up with the Versamark. And you don't have to be a perfect stamp as long as you get your one in three so that your top one, because I tend to work in threes, the top one is well stamped. You don't have to be the world's best stamper. We just stamp this out three times. And then we're just going to sprinkle some of our white, white embossing powder over the top. And then you're going to take the excess off. You must make sure that it's not heat resistant vellum. That's been designed to go through a printer and designed so that it won't curl from the heat of the printer and we want to curl our flowers. So just cover those with the embossing powder. And then the other thing you need to remember is when you're heating the embossing powder on vellum is to hold your vellum in the air and that allows the heat to travel through. And just heat those up. And with the embossing powder on the vellum, it does turn very quickly. And I have a few people that say their um, embossing powder flakes off when they try to shake the flowers. It's usually because it's been overheated or because your ink has maybe a little bit dry and it's time to replace it. Just make sure that as soon as it starts to turn, you move that around and allow the powder to chase you rather than you chasing the powder. See, that takes seconds to do. Then we're going to turn them over so that we can colour them. We're going to colour them on the back using all our little Dewdrop ink pads. Um, colour and choice is completely yours and we are literally just scribbling over the top. You don't have to colour it in. We like to layer it up a little bit and I tend to give a green centre because most flowers have got a green centre. And then all we're going to do then is cut these out. I'll cut one out just to explain what we're going to do but you don't need to see me cut out three flowers. So when we cut them out, the embossing powder helps you to cut around the edge. You don't have to cut it out perfectly because you're going to hide a lot of it, but we take it right down to that centre circle. So we're going to go around the edge and it's quite easy flower to cut out this one. And go right down to that centre circle. So you're going to continue on doing that on all three flowers. As I say, you don't want to see me do that. So we'll pop that to one side. And in true Ploopy to fashion, here we go. We've got some that we made earlier. So I'm going to take our famous kebab stick. And as I say, we've cut all the way through to the middle on all five petals, straight down to this centre flower. It just allows you a little bit more movement on your petal. And I'm going to take the kebab stick and I roll from the side. And I just roll that round and give some shape to the flower. And as you can see, I'm not having the problem that some have had with the embossing powder chipping off. And that's because I haven't overheated it. So I'm going to pop it in my hand, take my stick and give it a poke and a wiggle. And that gives your flower the start of its shaping. So I'm going to do that on three. And it's really quick and easy. And you can be quite rough with it. People try and think that vellum's quite a sensitive product, but you can be really quite tough with it. I'm not being gentle at all, because you really need to stretch the fibers that are within the vellum. Pop it in your hand, poke and a wiggle. And then all I'm going to do is pop a little bit of our Honeydew Craft sticky glue in the middle. and then offset these in the centre. Just hold it there for a couple of seconds. And then do the third layer. And then I would probably pop a little gem or something in the middle of the flowers once they were all dry. And 
You can also use this flower to make a rose or as near to a rose as you can make with a piece of paper. So that's the finished version and they're really quite robust so they can flatten down to go through the post and then when you take them out of the envelope they do spring back up. So to make the rose you're going to use exactly the same flowers you're going to need to do about eight or nine of them and then all I've done is I've cut them out and then rather than curling from the top I've turned it over and curled it and then I'm going to fold upwards into and they all interlock with each other and they will naturally do that I've done that already earlier so that this dried a little bit and I'm going to do two or three, maybe four, depending on how big a flower I want this to be. And with the first one I've glued the sides a little bit because I wanted it to kind of hold that form a bit more. And this takes a few more minutes. So as you can see it will start to layer up and start to make the bud of the inside of the rose. Do that three or four times and that's the flower upside down. So you're tucking your petals with your embossing powder upwards rather than leaving them down flat. Leave that for a little while to dry off and then you end up with something along these lines. And that's probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about ten or eleven layers. So it takes a little bit of time to do it but I do think it's well worth it. These ones are a bit more difficult to put through the post but look beautiful on the top of a little box or gift, gift bag or something. We've also done some down here with some of our heat resistant acetate using some of our other flowers and then we've done some with some sparkle as well and that's this one is our flowers for design set and this one has got um, our dark new brand new dark moonstone embossing powder on it so if you've got any more questions Add a comment and let me know.